We're at a small creek in Calgary and it reminds me of the many rivers and man-made waterways you'll see in rural Japan, uh, which is why I like to come for a walk here. Hi, my name is Brandon Hebert and me and my wife and kids went on the JET program from 2019 to 2020. The reason we wanted to go was we always wanted to live abroad for a year and experience a different culture and go on an adventure as a family. And we really love Japanese culture and so we chose Japan. And the JET program has a very good reputation um, for taking great care of its members and giving you a unique opportunity. And so that's why we decided to uh, go on the JET program as a family together. So we were placed in Kagoshima Prefecture in a city called Izumi, right on the coast. So like all beautiful Japanese cities, we had the ocean on one side, mountains on the other, and in between uh, many rivers and fields and farmlands. Uh, so it was a very beautiful city and we got to experience the different Japanese landscape. Izumi is uh, famous for its cranes and has thousands of cranes that migrate to that city every winter. And so we got to go see the cranes uh, in the winter time. Hey, yeah. While in the JET program, I worked for the local board of education and I taught English in a junior high school, four elementary schools and three kindergartens. And the fun thing about that is you have to adapt to work with kids that are very young and teenagers. So you, it's a great challenge to help them appreciate English and have a good time while learning English. During COVID, we made special videos that the kids could watch from home and learn about English because we couldn't go to school for a little bit while there was a lockdown. Jeff. While we were in Japan, I already knew how to speak Japanese, but my wife and kids did not. So I had to help them adjust to life in Japan uh, so that they could do fun things while I was working. Things like go on trips, go to the ocean, or do grocery shopping. They had to learn how to do that, and they did really well. In addition, uh, the pandemic started when we were in Japan, and so we couldn't go to school for some time, um, and we couldn't go on a trip as a family. So we had to come up with other ideas, like exploring our local city and discovering new places and experiences there. We tried to travel and explore the area as much as possible as a family. So we saw so many things and made lots of great memories. One that stands out is we went to Sakurajima, which is a volcanic island in Kagoshima. And we took a ferry there, we used a foot bath and viewed the ocean and explored that island as a family. Personally, I got to climb a volcano one time and the crater was filled with water because it had just been the rainy season and that was a breathtaking view. We did the best we could to explore the local area and uh, go to the ocean as much as possible because we don't get to do that here in Canada. So the JET program had such an impact on me and my family that we will always be connected to Japan in some way, for that means sharing about my experiences with other people and helping new JET participants get ready to go to Japan. I also like to cook sometimes and so I've challenged myself to learn Japanese food washoku. So I like to make tonkatsu and I even make coffee jelly, which is a popular dessert in Japan. So those are ways I like to stay connected. I also want to help people learn about Japan as much as possible. Jet. So 
So my advice for people who want to apply to the JET program is to already start learning about Japanese culture and Japanese language. Show initiative by studying on your own and making that step even before you apply. When you have your interview, we want to see that you're a flexible person who is comfortable being in front of a group of children and can make decisions on the fly and work with a variety of different people because you'll work with lots of different teachers in Japan. When you're on JET, do the best to meet new people, try new things and explore your local town or city. It'll be very rewarding and you'll never be lacking in things to do. Lastly, take care of yourself and your mental health so that you don't get burned out while you're there. The danger is not to be bored, but to do too much. So make sure you balance uh, your life and fun and you will have an uh, unforgettable time on the JET program. How will JET change you? Your chance to work in Japan as an assistant language teacher or coordinator for international relations.